Hi guys, today I'm going to be having a manga unbagging. My first unbagging. Went to Barnes and Noble today, if you haven't noticed. The first manga I got is Soul Eater Volume 6 with Aruka, wait, Aruka Free and, um, um, I forgot her name. She's like part mouse. They could transform into human and crap. So, I forgot her name. She really not part of it at all. But you already know how I feel about Slayer, my favorite series of all time. And this random back cover. I know all the Soul Eater volumes have random back covers, but this is the weirdest one. Like, it's not cool random. It's just random weird. Like, my name is Handshake. Jake Nake 42 a nice picture of flowers um shadow and some weird thing if you know if you look closely um let's see these things right here like, right here these are like scars scars and they belong to the Keishin the first Keishin so that's really cool. So that's that. Got a Fairytale Volume 2. The only reason why it took me this long to get the second volume of Fairytale because my Barnes and Noble didn't have one. But they had pretty much almost all the other volumes. So, and I don't like going out of print, so I had to wait for, the, for Barnes and Noble to get this. And I'm really was surprised when I found out Barnes and Noble's have on just like finally. And I guess the first seven volumes of Fair Show out of print because on Amazon volume two is like fifty seven dollars, fifty six dollars if you get the um Del Rey version. But if you look closely, this is the Kodansha version. which is really cool. Or if Kodansha would reprint Rave Master volumes, that would be cool. If you don't know already, Fairytale is made by the same creator of Rave Master Hero Mashima. He's a really cool guy. I love his artwork. People say it's a rip off of One Piece artwork, but I don't care. I like this more than it. I mean, One Piece artwork is really amazing, really colorful, and I really love Fairytale. I enjoy it. And since the anime is off its filler arc, I'm going to start watching Fairytale again. And last but not least, Vagabond. I heard many good things about this series. I heard that the art style is very detailed, and by looking at the spine, you can really see that it is extremely detailed. Let's look at that. It's so amazing. Um, it's another mature series. I'm reading a lot, well, not a lot, but I know a lot of mature series that I want to start. Berserk, Gantz, Helsing, mm, probably a few others. But that I forgot the name of. So that's pretty much it of my manga unboxing. I highly recommend you get all these series. Uh, I hope this is actually as good as people say. If you don't know, it is basically the only thing I know about it is that, well, two things. That is basically about Samurai. That's pretty much it. And it's based off a novel called Musashi. I think it's translated, it's translated in English over here, so I might read that one day, maybe not. I might compare this to Blade of the Mortal once I get that series. So anyway, goodbye guys, see you later, and unfortunately I have school tomorrow. I hate school, school sucks, and what makes it even worse, I have like, Regents, which is basically an after school math program. Like, it gives you extra points in high school, but I hate Regents. After, like, after I skip a day in Regents, I'm definitely getting out of that class. I hate Regents. So, see you guys next time, and school sucks, so get out of school. Run away from home. Do not go to school. It is the worst t place to waste your time at. Never go to school.